so 3 p.m. Um, this is our meeting focused on the short-term line of credit um, and the possible act to approve that um, is our action item for the evening. Um, so Tara was going to bring us some information about that. Um, so I'm going to turn things over. So I approached our two lenders that we work with all the time, Community National Bank, who does your tax anticipation note, and then Mascoma, who handles your primary accounts. And based on my conversations and discussions, the recommendation would be to go with a line of credit because then we're only drawing down the funds that we need to as we need them rather than taking the single disbursement and paying interest back on the entire loan amount. In the event that I don't need it, then we don't have to pay interest on it. To give you a, an update, as of today, I still do not have the 910 education fund check for, uh, for your district. I guess it's Lisa McCrory. Ah, I have emailed and left voicemails for both the agency of education and the Department of the Treasury to find out the status of our check because it is the only district I haven't received yet. So I need to know why. Uh, and then as we discussed the other night, with the delay in the Bethel tax payments, for the month, because usually they were due in August, and because they delayed them until September, based on the state allowing them to do so, that is also the revenue that we're missing right now in order to cover our current expenditures for August and September. So I do feel it is important that we do obtain the line of credit so that I can pay the bills and make sure payroll is covered. Uh, the recommendation that I have is that we get $600,000, and that's what I've been approved for by both of the lenders. If you went with Community National Bank, the interest rates change on Mondays or Tuesdays. So the interest rate as of today is the same interest rate that we discussed at your last board meeting. So for the line of credit, that would be 1.89% and Mascoma's is 2.8%. Neither lender has any fees or penalties for the lines of credit. So as we get the revenue in, we can pay back what we have to draw down and there's no fees or penalties for that. We just pay the daily interest on the amount that we borrow or we pull down. So I still don't understand why you wouldn't just do the lump sum, pay off the line of credit or the TAN and basically use the TAN as the line of credit because it works basically the same way where you can get money when you need it to pay it back. That gives you a smaller interest rate as long as there's no other. I guess you could do that ultimately. And like, I wouldn't be suggesting that if it wasn't less than the TAN. So, you know, you're already saving money by paying back the TAN. With all. We can do either one. Yeah. The, the recommendations from the banks is to go with the line of credit. Right. But. I mean, just as a thing of math, that's going to cost more. It's probably only a few hundred dollars or whatever. But if you can pay 1.49 and 1.89, you should pay 1.49. And it doesn't, like, I don't see why we wouldn't do that. I think, in my mind, the reason why we wouldn't do that, and usually I agree with you on things financial, Andrew is that we may not have to take all $600,000. And so potentially by taking the line of credit, we are paying less because we're only gonna take what we need. Um, but the thing is, is that if we pay off, use the $600 and pay down the TAN, the, okay. yeah, TAN, the TAN then yeah. anything that we borrow is at 1.59 instead of 1.8. So, you know, you still, whatever we borrow, wind up needing is still paying at a less of an interest rate than we would be otherwise. Okay. Well, because the $600 wouldn't pay back the entire TAN, you would still be paying interest at that lower, that lower rate on the TAN. But just to make sure we're clear. Right. No, I'm clear about that. It just, you know, 
entire tan. We basically maxed out our tan now. Yes. So if we take six hundred thousand dollars and pay off six hundred thousand dollars of the tan. We now have six hundred thousand dollars credit uh, at the tan rate, as opposed to six hundred thousand dollars of credit at the um, line of credit. Right. You know, yeah, we still have this, totally If you look at the total yeah. amount of credit and the yeah. rate that that credit has, yeah. doing the lump sum payment works out better. But I don't want to argue too much about. It. It's just I, I'm so I guess I would advise we'll I would like the board to give us the opportunity to do either. I just need to make certain just so folks are clear, it needs to happen quick enough because uh, I got payroll next week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, fine with uh, I would make a motion to authorize the business office to enter a line of credit or a short term loan in the amount of six hundred thousand dollars in the form that they see. That work? And I just need you to elect which lender, Andrew. And you can elect with, uh, from the bank and the form that they. We'll go for the lowest interest rate. Uh, so yeah, we're right. going to, I mean, we'll go with Community National Bank at the projected 1.49, or sorry, 1.89. Okay. I don't have a second for that motion yet to open it up for greater discussion. Um, I, I will second that, but I'd love for uh, Andrew to repeat that um, motion so I get it down correctly. Make sure so, you put the lender in there, Andrew, because you have to specify what lender. Okay. I make a motion that we authorize the business office to take out a loan from Community National Bank for $600,000, either a line of credit or a loan at their discretion. Okay. All right, so that was seconded by Lisa McCrory. Um, is there any discussion on this point? So any questions, any um, clarifications that people need um, to deal with before we vote on this motion? I uh, would just like to know what Jamie thinks. Um, I mean, I'm comfortable with either. Only thing I'm cautioning you about, Andrew, is my concern is, is that if we take out the full amount and pay off, and I get your idea of paying off the TAM, but I'm worried that money's going to get used. And when the Ed Fund reimbursement comes in, I just, I want to make certain. Well, I don't, I don't understand why we, like, basically you wind up with $600,000 of credit. So what difference does it make if it's a line of credit or the hand? Well, I, I know. What I'm, guess what I'm saying to you is if we use the money right now, the 600000 which we're going to, if that Ed Fund payment doesn't come in, right. I'm worried that when that Ed Fund payment comes in, that that money's going to keep, we're going to keep trying to catch up because we have the deficit and the cash flow issue, and the money might not always necessarily get put in that TAN. And when it's a line of credit, at least I can watch the line of credit closely as your superintendent. That's my only worry. Okay. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys. Seems like. Okay. I mean, uh, we've got calls into the agency right now to figure out why we don't have our money. So. I think the fact that we're leaving is I can't hear what's being said in the conference room right now. So Bob's at, Bob said that, yeah, so Tara can explain part of our holdup with this. So I had multiple towns because the state issued an extension for the listers to file their grand list, and they had until September 15th to file it, not realizing that it was going to impact their Ed Fund payments. So Bethel and Tunbridge both filed their grand list last Thursday when I called them all to say, this is why we're not getting our ed funds is because your town didn't file their grand list. Their listers immediately got on it and got it filed. I already received okay. the first branch ed fund payment, so I should have received the Right River Unified payment as well. And that's why I'm not understanding why it hasn't been issued because if Bethel and Tumbridge filed on the same day, they should have got processed on the same day. My so, question is, was there a problem with the filing? There was no indication of that. 
hopefully the treasury okay. department when they respond to me will let me know what that move up is all right any other um discussion related to this motion that we have on the floor okay um lisa you're not muted and i'm just oh you are now muted um i just wanted to make sure that you didn't want to jump in okay um so all in favor of um approving a line of credit or loan in the amount of six hundred thousand dollars from the community national bank um please say aye aye aye, aye. Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. So that motion is approved. Thank you. I just want, I just like to go on record as saying I think we should do a line of credit. Um, do you want to share your rationale on that, Bob, or? You just want to go on record as saying you support the line of credit. I know where we're going to be at the end of the year. I'd like to hope that we're going to be able to we're going to be able to pay this at the end. So yeah, and I think I if, agree. if we control the borrowing, like with a line of credit, maybe we'll be more thrifty. So, and I think that if whatever you do. Jamie's got to know what's going on. You know, got to be able to make those decisions. Thank you. Um, I would entertain a, mo a motion to adjourn this meeting um, and go back to our um, our previously attended retreat. So moved. Okay, we'll do that at six fifteen p.m. Thank you. Thank you.